Good morning! <laughs> <laughs> We're going to meet some friends in Winter Park to eat some brunch. A place we've never been before, never even stepped foot inside of this place. I believe we like drove past it the last time we went to Winter Park and we were like, what's this? Yeah, What's this cool. fancy hotel? Like, I know, I'm wearing, I'm wearing my earrings that we got at the Festival of the Arts. And these were made by a local artist who made them out of, what were they made out of? This one's out of bamboo. So it's like, they're made with uh, renewable resources. And they're super, super light, which I love. But also they make other like jewelry out of coffee. Yeah, they make them out of coffee beans and they make them out of cantaloupe seeds. Yeah, and they smelled like the jewelry, the jewelry smelled like coffee. It smelled really nice. Yeah. Um, and I'll link that video down below where we went to Festival of the Arts. We bought some artwork. We bought these earrings. Um, Festival of the Arts was just such a cool event. So anyway, long story short, we went, we drove past this hotel and we were like, what is this? It looks so fancy. Yeah. I think that's where we're going to get brunch. I think so. But the last time that we went to Winter Park, we went to the farmer's market and we got some caterpillars. <laughs> we did. That did turn into butterflies and we recorded every step along the way. Yes. And we'll put that in as we're driving out to Winter Park right now. So they have little like butterfly kits and we're totally gonna just buy one right now so we can have some butterflies. This is gonna be neat. So here's the one that we bought. It's just like a little jar and it's got a little plant in it and you can see it's got three caterpillars in there. This was $24 and then he gave us some green leaves to feed them because they are small but very hungry caterpillars. He also told us that after they turn into butterflies and you release them, you can bring back the container for more caterpillars at half price. Yeah. He said they'll refill it at half price. And then I think we need to also plant some butterfly plants in the yard. It's true, we do need to do that. Oh man, this is gonna be like a whole thing. I'm excited. I know, we're gonna be butterfly people now. <laughs> hey Jackson. <laughs> You want to be in the video? Are you sad? Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> uh, okay. Did you just just realize that we had the camera? Out? Do you want mommy to? You want to help mommy show off the caterpillars? We're gonna show yeah, them what the ahead. progress of the caterpillars is. So if you watched yesterday's video, hold on. Um, those are the caterpillars. You'll know that we bought a caterpillar habitat, and we're gonna get some butterflies soon, right? Yeah. So the first thing you should notice is that this particular caterpillar right here, see if I can get the camera to focus on it. It's kind of blurry because the plastic is blurry, but he has like a little seatbelt on holding him on the wall. It almost looks like a cobweb. Yeah. He's like got this cobwebby. Let me see if I can, can no. you see that? No. I could see it against your shirt. Let me just open it up. Look, 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 he thinks it's a phone. Who's calling you? Who's calling you, buddy? Jackson, who's, hello, Jackson. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Are you calling for Jackson? Jackson, they want to talk to you. They want to talk to you, buddy. Hello? Hello? Hi, Jackson. It's your mommy. I'm calling you on your brand new green phone. This is the lid to his cup. Hello? He just dropped it and broke it, and so now he has it. <laughs> now he thinks it's a phone. All right, so check this out. All right, so he has a bunch of little hairs on him anyways, but... But can you see how it looks like he's kind of like attached to the plastic? Yeah, like, like, like right tiny... here. And you can see it in real life. Hello? I feel like you can see it almost on the video. But I think he's ready to start to become a butterfly. I think so. I think that might be what he's doing. He's starting to turn like a darker color than the other ones. Let me see if I can see one of the other ones so you can see. But the other ones are bigger. But he was really long too. And then he like shrunk up. He was the longest one. Oh, okay. So yeah, you can see the other ones are like a lighter green color. So we need to probably put some more food in there for them. Yeah. Okay, so I just wanted to let you know it's the Nature's Way Butterfly Gardens. That's where we bought this at the Winter Park Farmer's Market. And you can check them out at butterfliesandmore.net. Yeah. So if you wanted to, I don't know if they sell them online, but if you wanted to see, um, you can check out their website. Are you done with your phone? Also, I wanted to point out that uh, butterflies kind of poop a lot. You see all those green pellets? That's all butter or all caterpillar poop. And they look, it's like big. Yeah. It's bigger than I thought it would be. I didn't think it was going to be that big. Yeah. But now you know, Do caterpillars you poop. Oh, oh no, no, you dropped you your phone. your phone. I feel like they're more active at night. We woke up this morning and we noticed that this caterpillar is starting to get himself ready to turn into a butterfly. He's gonna soon look like this one over here. Get himself strapped into the wall. 
I think we're going to have butterflies very soon. All right, it's official. All three of our caterpillars are in their chrysalis stage or going into their chrysalis stage. So this one right here, they are the furthest along. And then this one over here, just strap themselves to the wall. Same thing with the one down low. Let's see if I can get it to focus somewhere near him. Yep, you can see they just strap themselves to the wall too. So they should be forming into their chrysalis stage very soon. A little bit of caterpillar development. Uh, there are aphids in here. So I had to take the plants out of it. And in the process of taking, taking the plants out, this guy fell off the, like his little seatbelt came off and now he's fallen backwards. I don't know if you can see, you can kind of see he, how he's like attached by his little butt there. Yeah, and then if you look at this guy down here, see how he's kind of like curled? Yeah. It's because an aphid touched him and he's like, ah, I don't like that. So I took the plants out and, uh, okay. yeah, I'm going to okay. put this outside so that any aphids that are in there can live their aphid life outside <laughs> in the house. But they are all like in their chrysalis cocoon state. We're going to take this outside <laughs> and let it be outside. Yeah. And you can kind of see how he's like curled up right there. There you go, this is the guy that is just holding on with his tail. And then, I don't know if I'll be able to show the little bugs that I think are aphids. But they're in there somewhere. Also, in our fun world of caterpillars, aphids, and things like that, hey buddy, you got a cardigan? Hey, what grandma did you get find? You a new cardigan? Oh. There's a whole box full of clothes from grandma. Yep. <laughs> um, there was also a spider in the house. Like a wood spider, so it was a big spider. And then there was a snake in the pool. So it was a very fun and eventful morning of aphid spiders and snakes. It oh my. A very Florida morning. Yeah. Right? That's what Florida's like. If you live in Florida, you better get used to bugs and snakes. Oh yeah. You did. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you all can see this, but the one that fell down sideways, it turned into a butterfly. Oh, 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 oh. There's a butterfly in there. What kind of butterfly is this? Is it a moth? No, it's definitely a butterfly. I think it's ready to come out of there. So I think that means that the other ones are going to form into butterflies soon, too. It's kind of blurry through the plastic. We did it. We made butterflies. Or at least one butterfly. Alright, time to let the butterfly go. I guess just like out here in the middle of the yard? So we just got home from the mall. And we noticed that one of our butterflies is a butterfly. One of our caterpillars became a butterfly. Yeah. Can you see him in there? And that's actually this one. Yeah. The one that fell. We'll have to, uh, can you get like a good look at the... I like the empty chrysalis? Yeah. I think so. It's kind of hard because the plastic is so like blurry. Right. Man, I wish we had gotten to see him like actually come out. Right, me too. Okay, let's let him go. All right, here we go. All right. You got it? Jackson, are Jackson. you not going to watch this butterfly? You want to see it, buddy? You ready? Here, Here it goes. goes. You ready? There it goes. That was your butterfly. He landed in the grass over there. Where did he go? Should we go look at him? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go look at him, bud. I didn't see where he went. I don't see him. Oh, where did he go? That's a magical... Did he fly away again? Here, here. Oh. Ah, I almost stepped on him. Here he is. We made this butterfly. Jackson, come look, come look. That's our butterfly. Right here, buddy. Can you see don't him? Get, don't get too close. He's don't gonna scare him. He's gonna go off into the wild. Do you see him? You don't even know what you're looking at. Right there, look. Okay. Yeah, that's a yeah. butterfly. Okay. You see it? Right here. <laughs> what do you think? Okay. Well, that's a your Crocs, I think. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, oh, almost stepped on it. You almost stepped on that butterfly, buddy. It's going away now. Okay. That's the butterfly. That's what we we grew it. Bye, butterfly. I think you could say we grew it, right? We had a butterfly farm, and we made a butterfly. He lives in that tree now. Old Tim Tracker had a farm. E I E I O. <laughs> And on this farm, we grew butterflies. On this farm, we had a butterfly. <laughs> There's two more in here. They're also going to become butterflies. Yeah. 
That's, That's a, leaf. a leaf. I know, it kind of looks like a butterfly, doesn't it? That's another leaf. He only cares about leaves. You know what? He knows, because yesterday we were out here playing, mm -hmm. and that particular leaf, he handed it to me, and I stuck okay. it in my pocket, and then when he wasn't looking at it, put it back okay. on the ground. He's like, Dad. And he's like, I thought you I thought you were going to say save that, that leaf for the rest of your life. There's two more, bud. Yeah. Is this still up in the tree? Can you see it? I can't see it anymore. Oh my goodness, this butterfly just came out of its chrysalis. Like, we just walked in the door, and he's out from his chrysalis. There he is. Did, did you catch him coming out? No, but he's like, well, I mean, sort of. It wasn't like he was pushing out, but he's like still sort of in there. There's like butts in there. His like little wings are still. Whoa, I know. Buddy, buddy. His little wings are still expanding. How's the butterfly, buddy? He's like still, still getting his footing. Isn't that so cool? Let's try this. That's, that's the butterfly. That's the butterfly, bud. Look, the wings in this thing are gigantic. Oh yeah, you can see how the wings are still like sort of attached to each other underneath him. Oh yeah. So he has to kind of like work himself out. Yeah. He wants some water. He's got to get his wings have got to dry is what they say. Whoa. Uh oh. Wait. Oh no, is he okay? I don't know. I think so. We'll find out. Uh oh. Oh yeah, look, see they're not like standing up. He's going back up the wall, so I think he'll be okay. Wow, but you see him? That's your butterfly. <laughs> yeah, it is. Wow. That's neat. It is neat. The second butterfly just came out of his little chrysalis or cocoon. I still have to figure out which what, what it is, if we're using I the right word. I think this words. one's a chrysalis because he doesn't like, doesn't like weave it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh look, this one's gonna have more like dark on the bottom of his wings. Is he? Looks like it. Mm. Dang. So once they start flying around, then we let them go. Jackson, we didn't even get to see him come out. <laughs> He's like, you little silly Billy. Where's Daddy's nose? Where's Daddy's nose? Where's there Daddy's it is. Ears? Where are Daddy's ears? Yeah. <laughs> Where are Daddy's? Where's Daddy? Oh, the other ear. There it is. Where's Daddy's mouth? We're still working on it. Okay. He's Where like, I just, I just want to see the butterflies, Daddy. Just happened. I was over making dinner, and Tim's like, okay. the butterfly came out. There's a butterfly, buddy. Ding dang. We did it. So we are all done with the butterflies. Jackson really enjoyed the actual, the whole thing. He, it was really neat to see him, like, see the things in the container. Right. Do you know what I mean? Like, he recognized that there was something in there. Right. And then to see him, like, see the butterflies moving, it was cool. Yeah, and then when the butterfly, we let it out outside, he was like, oh, there it goes. So <laughs> It got past him at first. I don't think he saw it when it like originally came out of the um, the container thing, but then he was following it around the yard, which was super cute. I am sorry that we didn't show you us releasing the other two butterflies, because after they fully dried and they were um, like flying around and then we could let them go, it was dark. Right. So it was kind of, we wouldn't have really been able to like see what was happening. It was pretty late at night. Um, but they, they're, they're living their lives. They're living their butterfly lives. Hopefully, I like to think that they still live in the yard somewhere. Yeah. I don't know how far they actually travel. You know what I mean? Like, where, where do you think they are? I mean, probably there's like a fence in the backyard that has jasmine all over it. Yeah. I don't know if butterflies like jasmine, but I do. <laughs> so I can imagine maybe butterflies do. So I think maybe they're in that, that jasmine. I would like to plant some butterfly plants though. I know we talked about that and then we never actually got around to doing it. I would like to do that. Yeah, we gotta plant some milkweed. And it's been a few weeks since the butterflies have, I keep wanting to say hatched. What do they do since they emerged? They've, yeah. Okay, so it's been a few weeks since they emerged. So we would like to get back to the farmer's market in Winter Park and get more butterflies. Yeah. More hopefully, caterpillars. Yeah, hopefully when we get the next set, it'll be like a different type of caterpillar. Yeah, I kind of wondered, because the pictures, of course, all the pictures that they show are like these beautiful, like orange and black, you know, like the classic butterfly. Right. That's the picture that they show. I think and those are called painted ladies. Oh, are they? I think so. I like that. Maybe, I don't know. I'm no uh, ornithologist. Is that right? I don't know. No, I'm no bug doctor. <laughs> but you are <laughs> someone who makes up words. Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> um, so I don't know what kind of butterflies we got. I don't know what... Yeah, they were just like a light green 
butterfly. Yeah, so yeah, we'll see. We'll let you guys know the next time that we do a butterfly experiment. It's not an experiment, what is it? Next time we, we cultivate butterflies. Yeah, the next time that we do that, uh, we will show you the end result. We probably won't go through the whole thing again. Right. But we will show you what, what kind of butterflies we get. We'll definitely show you that. But now we're headed off to brunch. This is a place our friends invited us to and they found it and we really enjoy Winter Park. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to try a new place in Winter Park. I love exploring the cities around us. There's always something new, Yeah. which is awesome. That's like the coolest thing about Florida. But yeah, so let's head to brunch. This is where we're going. We're going to the Alfond Inn. It's a very nice looking hotel. But we're going to Hamilton's Kitchen. This way. And just to put it into perspective, maybe like three blocks down is Park Avenue. So that's where the main activity in Winter Park happens. Here's a look at the brunch menu that we're having. It looks really good. I think I'm leaning towards the Hamlet. Like a nice omelet. Chicken and waffle sounds good though. I like this breakfast breads. It's just like you get all bread. That's all that you get. They have some good looking burgers too. They don't they don't seem to have like a kids menu, so we gotta figure out what we're gonna do about Jackson. Oh, I bet you if we ask them they'll say, oh yeah, we got something. You can add an airline chicken breast to anything. That's fun. Okay. I got the hamlet, which is like an omelet with ham and cheese in it, some breakfast potatoes, and then bacon on the side. And this bacon looks real good. I also ordered another side of bacon. That's their pecan smoked bacon. It's so thick. Which I think is coming out separate from this. Oh, this is other bacon? Yeah, this is just their regular bacon. Oh. So our friends that we joined, they got the avocado toast. This was actually something that I was looking at getting, but I wanted egg. But this actually looks cheese. really good. Oh, you already knew it was coming straight from you. <laughs> Thank you. Jackson got a grilled cheese. This looks delicious, gooey gooey. And we did the um, fruit instead of fries. And then we switched it up a little bit and Jen got the burger. I added some avocado to my burger. Ooh. This actually looks pretty good. And then you ordered uh, truffle fries, but these are just the regular fries. They're Ooh, gonna buddies. bring, oh, hold on, hold on buddy. I know, they're, they're gonna bring me out some truffle fries right now. Did you show his grilled cheese? It looks, look at this, it looks very like. Oh yeah. It's like a little panini. Oh yeah. Mm. And then a, a bowl of fruit. Wanted to just kind of have a look around the hotel. Found out that this hotel is a not-for-profit hotel and every bit of profit that they make goes back to scholarships for Rollins College, which is a college right over here. There's art all over the hotel. Like this one is a digital painting. I don't, I thought, that's, oh here it is right here. There's a thing. It's by Julian Opie from London, England, born in 1958. Wow. They've got them kind of all over the place. Just like art, art all over the hotel. So we made it over to the lobby. Some stained glass up there. This is a cool looking hotel. Wow. Everything for love. There's some neon art around too. I like these, is this art too? Like this blue glass? It is. Metal Mirror 2. Wow. That's pretty neat. Is this Metal Mirror 1? This is Metal Mirror 4. Ooh, it's a little bit different color. It's kind of got like a purplish hue about it. Oh, this is awesome. I love the way that the light is reflecting off of these shapes hung in this atrium here. This is fantastic. Like, I feel like we're in an art gallery, but we're not, we're just in a, in a hotel. Like these are ballrooms over here, wedding venues. Oh man, this one's awesome. I love this. How neat is that? Also, how do they determine what goes behind glass and what doesn't? Okay, so this is acrylic and this one's oil. So I'm assuming the oil has to go behind glass because oil never really dries. All of these pieces of art are from Rollins College students or graduates. So we popped over to Park Avenue. This is where we went to the farmer's market. And I don't think the farmer's market is still happening, but we're just kind of having a walk around on the avenue. Came down to the tugboat and the bird, the children's store. Old enough to save the planet. Maybe we'll get Jackson a book. What do you do with an idea? Oh, we can get him some of those native shoes. Oh no, there's overalls everywhere. 
Jen's gonna walk out here with 15 pairs of overalls for Jackson. Overalls. I love these too. I like Daddy's little dude. Mm. There's like these forts in here that you turn on a, an air thing, and then it's, it's like a little fort, like a little barn, or like a little tent. I think we're gonna stop at Chowlala for dessert. French pastries. Might get me an eclair. Dark chocolate eclair sounds good. I don't want this chocolate bliss. It looks so good. Yes, everything. We got this strawberry. It's an entremet. Entremet. And it is sponge cake and mousse. That sounds really good. Yeah. Ooh, like coffee eclairs. I'm gonna get this dark chocolate eclair. If you have macarons. And then puffs. There's a store next to the bakery that we just went into called Naked, which is fresh handmade skincare for dogs. All right, here's what we got. I got something called Chocolate Bliss. Uh, we got a Nutella puff. I got a chocolate eclair. And I got a peanut butter and jelly macaron. And Jen got this strawberry which is like cake with mousse. It looks really nice. I wanted to show you the inside of my strawberry really quick. It is mousse, strawberry mousse on a dark chocolate sponge, but it's very thick. It almost looks like a, a brownie. And then there's like a, a jelly in between there. This is really nice. How do you like yours? Good, I got chocolate bliss. And it's like a... Oh, it was the like swirly looking thing. Yeah, it's like a dark chocolate tart. Oh, okay. I don't even know if I can pick it out to show you all. Like it's milk chocolate? Good. No, dark chocolate. Oh, dark chocolate, okay. Yeah. All right, we are back home from Winter Park. Sorry we totally didn't talk about our food at all. I think because we were there with our friends, we get so engrossed in like just talking to them and hanging out with them and catching up with them that we didn't, we, we tend to not think to pick up the camera. So I'm sorry. But now, what did you think about brunch? It was delicious. I really enjoyed my burger. I love a good omelet. It looked so good. Yeah. Sometimes I get weird about ham. So when you when it was like, I love ham, I think ham is delicious, but I need it to be like shaved. That's my memoir is weird about ham. <laughs> I am, I am weird. Because like sometimes ham can be chewy and fatty. Right, this was which, not. But that's kind of what makes ham good. Right. You know, so it's like a double-edged sword. Is that what it is? Yeah, catch 22. Yeah, okay, is that the same thing? Yeah. Okay, all right. So if it was like a shaved ham omelet, I think I would have ordered it. Yeah. But I didn't, I got the burger. <laughs> the cheese in the omelet was such like a, it, it's not sharp. I don't know what the correct terminology is. It, like it was flavorful? like, yeah, it was like a powerful cheese. Mm. It was, here's, here's a fun fact about that breakfast. When I first bit into it, I was like, oh, there's spinach in this. Oh yeah. There wasn't spinach in it. Cause it was just my tongue trying to figure out what the flavor of the cheese was. I wonder what kind of cheese it was. I'll have to look back at the menu. I don't know. I can't remember, but it, it looked delicious. It was a nicely filled omelet. Yeah. So my burger was really good. I'm not usually one to order the burger, but I know, right? That's we like, me. we switched, right? but the burger was delicious. The patty, I think what it is is sometimes I get weird about thick patties. Right. That's my memoir. Thick patties. <laughs> I don't like it when the burger patty is too thick. I used to be a big fan of like steak and shake burgers. Right, like they, they're like, you can't even, it's like there's not even a burger in there. Right. You know what I mean? So I'm a big fan of that. I'm not a big fan of really thick, juicy burgers. And this was kind of in the middle. The burger okay. was not too thick, not too thin, cooked perfectly, love the cheese, love the avocado on it. It was, it was really nice. And- Oh, and it, it didn't originally come with avocado. That was something that the server suggested. It was because it had bacon, I think. Hello, this is Jen from editing. <laughs> um, upon further review, that burger didn't have bacon on it at all. I don't know where I got that from. There was no bacon. However, I didn't want to cut the rest of this clip out because what we were saying is true. And you'll see here in a minute that bacon and avocado do go together. So disregard the fact that I said that it had bacon because it doesn't, it never did. I think I just imagined that. The next time we go there, if I order that burger, I think I will add bacon to it because I do think that would make it an even more delicious burger. So back to the video. <laughs> And then when you add bacon and avocado together, it's just like a perfect harmony marriage of food. Yeah. So, um, so we yeah. go together like bacon and avocado. We do. Which one would you be? The bacon? I'm or the avocado? bacon. Okay. <laughs> I'm the avocado. <laughs> <laughs> um, the truffle fries were delicious. Yeah, they were. We, I also got the regular fries. Um, they accidentally 
gave me those instead of the truffle fries and those are really good too we didn't eat them all jackson had a couple but um they were they were really nice yeah so i recommend checking out hamilton's kitchen if you guys are in winter park and you're looking for brunch i think they do lunch and dinner too yeah but if you are there be sure to check out the hotel yeah go around look at the art it, it was, was amazing it was so nice yeah so in the video you said i feel like i'm in an art gallery and it really did feel like an art gallery mm -hmm. it was cool and i think they have like a, a couple of bars in there too and like cool drinks so i don't know i would i would for sure go there again yeah and then when you're done then you go for a walk down park avenue in yeah. winter park Maybe stop by that bakery that we went to. That was so delicious. I really liked the bakery. I liked my little strawberry thing. It was so cute. Like yeah. I only got it because of the way that it looked, um, but it tasted delicious too. I will say this, be careful because everything looks really good and you will end up ordering more than you can handle. Yeah, you ordered a lot. I know, <laughs> I could handle it. I'm not right. saying I didn't handle it. Right. I'm just saying somebody could order too much. Somebody else might not be able to handle it. <laughs> oh yeah, it was a fantastic day in Winter Park. It really was. And also I recommend um, go and sit on the lawn. Yeah. So we didn't really show where we were sitting when we were eating our desserts, but there's like this big lawn area beside the- um, Train station. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go eat your food there, like al fresco. Is that what it is? I think so. Like when you eat outside? I think so. Do that, it's cute. We had a little picnic with our friends. Jackson loved it. Yeah, Jackson was just like running around on the lawn. There were so many dogs, like it was just cool. There was a guy that was had a frisbee, he kept throwing it to his dog, and his dog was like, like, <laughs> yeah. getting it. It was, it was just, a, it was a cool day, and it was a fun day, and it, I don't know, had a good time. Yeah, all in all, a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see y'all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. Mm -hmm.